Hey yo guys, what's going on? It's Sudden Death here, and welcome to the Mobile Esports YouTube channel. I'm back with episode 5 of the Critical Ops tutorial series, and today we'll be going over gun game basics and basic positioning on the map Bury. Without any further ado, let's go ahead and get right into it. game is the newest game mode added into Critical Ops. You start at zero kills, and I know everyone is saying duh, obviously, but give me a minute. At zero kills or level one, whatever you want to call it. You'll start with the MP5, and as you get kills, you'll progress through multiple different weapons, as shown here on screen, until you reach the 14 kill mark. At this point, you'll have to get a knife kill in order to win the game, so it caps out at 15 kills. Now, what's interesting about the gun game mode in Critical Ops is that you actually have a team so basically, it's a TDM where usually gun game modes are free-for-all, at least in my experience. Now, what's great about TDM gun game is that you have teammates and you can stick close by, so if they miss a kill, you can pick up that kill. And you can also watch your back, thus watching their back. And if your teammate goes down, you can hopefully drop the player that dropped them and level up one more time. The most important tip in gun game I can give is to lock down a specific area on the map you're playing on. Now, depending on the map, it may be harder to lock down a spot. On Brewery and Plaza, I find these maps the most difficult to lock down an area. My favorite map to play gun game on is Bureau, because it's fairly easy to lock down an area on the map. You kill an enemy, they'll respawn, and most likely come back and try to get a revenge kill. If you play it right, you'll get another kill, and another. In Bureau, Orange Hall and Sandwich are very easy to lock down. I now can patrol this area looking for players that are coming from Tree Hall or Tea Hall, whatever you like to call it, B Bomb Site or Sandwich Stairs, Kitchen and Control Room, and even all the way back in CT Spawn. Doing this and connecting your shots will significantly increase your chances of winning that match. Another very important tip is watching your minimap. This is something that gets said all the time, but people don't listen to it, I find. By watching the minimap, you will see where your teammates are. Duh, but this is the cool part. You can now predict where the enemy team is spawning or hanging out trying to grab that hard scope. No hacks needed. If your team isn't firing where he or she is at on the minimap, there's probably isn't an enemy there. But that spot on the minimap where no teammates are, or there are some teammates but they're moving really slowly, there's a good chance there's some enemies over there. This tip also helps you predict spawns of the enemy team, helping you rotate quicker to get another kill. Now this doesn't mean you shouldn't check your corners. Just because there's a teammate standing there does not mean he didn't forget to check the corner and there's an enemy player there who went AFK hiding in the corner and now has just come back and is going to shoot you both in the back. Always check your corners. And the best way to learn how to read your minimap and how to predict spawns is just to play the game and pay attention. But if you guys would like a more in-depth detailed video about predicting spawns and reading your minimap in Critical Ops, let us know in the comment section down below. Jumping right into the map analysis, we're gonna start right outside. This is what I call loading dock. What's really cool about Brewery is it's a symmetrical map. Not 100%, there are a couple objects spread throughout the map that don't make it 100%, but for the most part, if you know one side of the map, you'll know the other. The doorway out of CT spawn leads to this platform. You wanna be careful coming out here, because even if you do crouch, the wall on top of the platform will not protect you completely. I personally have made this mistake by crouching, moving along, thinking they cannot get my head, and yes, they got my head and I was put down a couple of times by a nice sniper. So it's best not to hang there too long unless you're going to hang out closer to the CT entryway door or by the green packages right there. And you can kind of hide behind them, peek out, put some shots on there. Optimal placing for a sniper. And of course, being that Brewery is mostly a symmetrical map, this goes for the T side as well. Moving on to the dual entryways, there are constantly players coming in and out of it, and usually there's a good amount of gunfire being shot through or out of it. In my experience, hanging around the dual entryways for too long is gonna get you shot. Really, hanging around anywhere in this map for too long is going to get you shot. But this is especially true for this part of the map. Moving into mid-map, this is where most of the action is going to take place on the map Brewery. Players typically come off spawn through the top left and top right of the screen here. There's a nice little pathway leading from spawn down here. 
There's multiple places to get out of spawn, but this is the most typical way players will exit their spawn. What also can be seen is a little catwalk here inside of mid-map that you'll want to watch as well. So once in a while, there will be a player that decides to switch it up, go out that exit, and jump down into mid-map, and it can catch you off guard. This next spot is what I call platform. There's one right next to each one of the entryways from loading dock. It's pretty small and usually you'll only see one player up here, but sometimes there will be two. Once again, we have some green packages, our close left side and our far left side on each one of the respected platforms. There are green packages and players usually hide behind these and will surprise you once again if you aren't careful. There is an exit out of your spawn to get to these platforms. CT and T spawn are a place I would not recommend going to at all. Being that this is a TDM or gun game only map, there is spawn protection when somebody spawns in, and that spawn protection lasts longer than you think. You're usually going to get shot down just because somebody has spawn protection and they aren't taking any damage. Alright guys, with all that being said, hope that you did enjoy the video and even learn something. Don't forget to drop a like and let us know in the comment section down below what you'd like to see us cover next in episode 6. Sun Death here, signing out, and I'll see you guys somewhere soon on the internet. Peace.